Hello everyone! Today I want to show you how we do coloring in Synfig using color charts. Uh, first of all, I will show how this works. Uh, here we have our project with a lot of shots and uh, some of them are already colored. Uh, for example, well, 52, uh, this. Okay. Uh, you see, it's already colored, all colors are in place. But the thing is that the color va values are s stored in separate file. Not in this file, but in separate file, uh, which is located in special place. Uh, in the library, uh, here we have color chart Ivan file. Okay. This is an ordinary synfig file with ordinary objects, rectangles and etc. Uh, with, with particular colors assigned to them. And uh, you see color parameters, they are all exported uh, with particular names. And uh, then they are linked to this file. So when I'm changing something in this file, uh, oh. the colors are changing here as well. And uh, those colors are changed everywhere in the project. Here I will show you. Uh, okay, let's try to open some other file. Oh, first let's change this. Okay. Mm, yes. Let's try to open some other file. For example, 34. Well, it's a really big file. Okay, you see uh, the colors are changed here too. So I can show you. Mm. You see, uh, the colors are changing here, here, and everywhere in the project. Um, so, how we do coloring? I will show you. Let's close everything. I don't want these colors to be saved, so I will close without saving. And here I will show you file what still needs to be colored. 
43, if I remember correctly. Uh, foots. Mm, not that. Not that. Oh, uh, not that. Probably this one. Okay. Uh, you see? Here we have file, it's not colored yet. And now I need to link all the col colors from the main color chart file. So how I do this? I just import the main file here. Okay, library color chart one. Okay, here it is. Let's set zoom level. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, that's good. Um, now I need to do one more thing. I need to uh, set uh, unset children lock parameter because in fact I need to click on the color cell but if I have this parameter set I cannot select it I Synfig uh, not allows me to select it it uh, uh, selects the the whole imported file so I just uncheck this parameter and now I can select each color cell. Okay, so I need to apply this color to this region. I just select this color cell, hold control on my keyboard and uh, clicking on the region. So they both will be selected. They both are selected now. After that, I'm going to params panel and uh, selecting color parameter and right, cli right clicking, right click on it. Then I select in link. Okay, color from this color cell is applied to this region. I can select uh, multiple regions. No, I don't need to select this. Oh, do I have multiple regions? I don't have. Well, okay. Anyway, believe me, I can. And apply color in the same way. So let's demonstrate the same thing for this color cell. Um, holding control, clicking this, or clicking this, this and this, and this, okay, right click, link, okay, next, uh, and uh, one more trick, uh, this region is already linked to this color cell, uh, that means that I don't need to select color cell every time, I can link this to this region and uh, it's okay because this region is already linked to color cell so link will be established well i think so yes uh, next what have i missed boots boots okay boots mm, i don't need this Okay, link, very good, let's hide this, it's on my way, okay, okay, link, Mm, 
text. So mm, this is done. So In fact, it takes almost the same time oops, as uh, using the fill tool, fill and uh, eyedropper tool. But uh, if you do coloring using color charts, you get the great advantage because you can change colors for your characters in the whole project anytime where whenever you want it so it's a very good feature hmm. oh something something wrong okay Ah, it's it's Moravnos boots. Hmm. I guess I'll have children walk somewhere. I said, okay. Unset this. Unset this. Oops. What's wrong? Okay, and uh, finally, show strings. Usually I don't put separate colors for show strings, but this will be a close up shot. So I would like to put some details in, in coloring. I think this will look nice. And uh, okay, those, I don't have colors for those details, so I just link them together and uh, set some nice gray color. And uh, here too. Good. And finally, Okay, Ivan's foods are colored. Now, oh, oh, okay. Now I need to color Marevna's legs. For Marevna, I have separate color chart file, color chart Marevna. I just import it. Uh, scale more scale more 
and uh, remember I need to uncheck children lock parameter and uh, go ahead Jans Mm, let's hide shadows. And uh, Ivan selects to Them black. Okay. And uh, boots. Strings hmm. Last one. Okay, let's get the shadows back. no shadows here yet okay I'll put it in my to-do list here hmm no shadows really okay so you see that's how we use color charts in synfig and uh, remember that uh, it's very easy to set up and uh, having it is very big help for big projects because it's an ordinary file with all values exported and uh, you can change You 
you can change all colors anytime with a single click. That's very good. So, that's all for today. See ya! Goodbye!